Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio for February. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this is for February. It could happen at any time in February. We are going to do you and the other person. You pick a side. There's going to be two sides. You, you choose which side is yours. Let's see what we got. And this could, uh, you know, this could resonate with a cross watcher. However way you take it, however it resonates with you. So what do we have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we have? Ooh, we got somebody who's not happy. Now, this is an, an emotional time. Somebody could be drowning in their emotions, okay? Um, we do have somebody here that is definitely not happy, unable. There could be some tears. There could be an outburst. Um, when you get the Queen of Wands in reverse, which which definitely could be you, it's it, there could be some jealousy issues. There could be, uh, you know, uh, well, let's get some more cards. This person obviously isn't happy. Blocked. Somebody is being blocked, and they're not communicating. They're not communicating at all. They're not getting the communication that they were hoping for. Somebody may have blocked communication with you, and or vice versa, okay? And and this is a very emotional time. Um, having a really hard time communicating. You could be dealing with a Pisces, but this is being stuck, being punished. Maybe you're being, somebody may be punishing you by not communicating with you. That's their way of punishment, you know, silent treatment. Um, there's probably been some sort of separation. This person is, it does feel like it's a form of punishment. Whoever you are dealing with, um, doesn't care who they hurt. They're trying to prove a point. They're trying to prove something to you. Um, it's this, it feels like this person over on this side is needing to, uh, or is wanting to leave something behind. This person doesn't want to be in this contract anymore. They don't. This person is like... They're, they're stuck in their own ways. They've made up their mind. There's nothing you can do to change it. So we have somebody over on this side that does not want to be in a contract anymore. And it's causing this person to be very emotional. It's hard. It's very, very hard. I think whoever you're dealing with... Um, may see it as being over. They see it as, as being completely over. They don't want to be in this anymore. They don't see it. They see it as not being compatible. They're sick of it. They're sick of the fighting. They're sick of the arguing. They're sick of the pain that this is causing. It's like, you know what? I, I, I don't care. I, I'd rather be alone. It feels like this person would rather be alone than engage. It's like, I don't want to communicate. So this person is hurting because they're not getting the communication from this person who is trying to, you know, has made up their mind. This person has made up their mind. They're looking, looking at things from a new perspective. It's like they don't want to do this anymore. They've moved on. This person has moved on completely. They've gotten to a better place or they're going to a better place. They're, they've made some sort of change. They don't want to be in this troubled situation anymore. They don't want to keep fighting. That's why it's like this is, I'm done. I'm done with this fighting. I'm done with this arguing. This person is on the path to recovery. This is not compatible. It's not meant to be. It's like I'm taking ownership of this and you're not changing my mind. This person's mind is made up. Over here we have somebody that is having a very hard time accepting. It's like drowning in emotions, a lot of tears, a lot of feelings that are coming to the surface here. And it's like this person is not communicating. Ooh, ooh, so this is about knowing your value. The Queen of Pentacles is solid, stable, secure, down to earth. It's needing to recuperate. Seriously, we have somebody here that needs to recuperate and regain their stability. It's like you have to build up your own foundation. You don't. You can't look to another person to build it for you. We have somebody here that needs to master their emotions. They need to pick themselves up. 
from this emotional situation. You need to find a way to master your emotions and work on yourself. It's really a time of introspection to go within and figure out who you are at this time. This is about knowing your value and knowing your worth. I feel like this person over here came into your life to teach you self-value and to teach you self-worth. But we have somebody here that is having a hard time thinking that this person com completes them. When this person doesn't complete them, the only person that completes you is you. So I feel like s I, this, we have a person over here that is having a hard time accepting the fact that... You know, there's a change in a situation, could be a marriage, could be in the home, could be in the family dynamics or whatever. There's a change in the in the situation, the living situation that has happened for a reason. It's really a time to uh, figure out who you are. This is not who you are. This person is not who you are. Okay? This is realizing your identity. It's like, is this is, we have somebody over here that has given themselves away. It's like they don't even know who they are anymore. Seriously, it's like you need to take a time out and, and realize that you are you. This person is not you. This person doesn't complete you. You complete you. So I feel like we have somebody over here that is having a hard time realizing that you are you. You are you. This person isn't you. And I know that you don't. I mean, that's that's a whole different message, but this is about regaining stability on your own. You are you. You are you. Do you get what I'm saying? This person is not you. So anyway, I feel as though um, this person on this side is, doesn't has, has fear of growing old alone. It doesn't want to be alone. You know, wants communi is looking for communication from somebody, from this person over here that has already moved on. This person is moving on. They are moving on. They are headed to a different place. And they may be actually moving, like picking up and moving. Somebody's probably moving. Whether it's somebody is moving. That's what it looks like to me. And it is time, it's a time of, it's time to reflect and it's time to heal and it's time to work on your self-value. This person needs to work on their self-value and build up their own foundation by themselves, but not wanting to do so, thinking that they need this other person to help them. That is not the case. That is not the case. I feel like it's it's this person needs to focus on their home. They need to focus on their establishment. They need to focus on their money. They need to focus on their own security, their own self right now. Not give their attention to this person who doesn't even want them. This person doesn't want to be in this contract. Doesn't want to be in this commitment. This person has broken free. They've removed the obstacle. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to be trapped. They don't want to be tied down. They've they've decided that they don't want to be in this anymore. And this person just can't accept it. They can't accept it. And they're having a hard time letting go. It's like trying to communicate with somebody who doesn't want to communicate with you. It's like trying to force. And there's jealousy issues over here. I feel like this person has probably has already made a choice. They probably have another person. They probably do. They probably have another person, and that's why they've moved on. But this person doesn't want to accept it. Seriously. It's like, no, you know, I, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, but this person isn't, inv isn't invested. No, this person doesn't, doesn't see it, doesn't want it, doesn't, is, is not wanting to uh, go down that road. This person if sees it as a bad choice and they want to move on from that bad choice. They feel like they don't want to be under trial all the time. They don't want to be questioned all the time. I don't, you don't trust me anyway. So why would I want to be involved with you if you don't trust me? So I feel like this person has, uh, feels like they made a bad choice to get involved and whatever side is yours, this person has made a bad choice. They feel like they have, and they just want to move on for it, from it. It's like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to deal with this pain. I don't want to deal with this fighting. My mind is made up. We're not compatible. I'm moving on. This person's mind is made up, okay? And it's like you can't change it. And, and, and it's like they see. It's like you can't accept the truth. Why can't, why can't this person accept the truth? So we have this with this emotional individual over here that is in love with this person that doesn't see it as a compatible uh, 
relationship. They just don't see it as that. They, they're they not wanting to go down that path. So my advice is to let it go. And I know that's hard. This person it definitely doesn't want to hear it, doesn't want to believe it, needs to take a time out to re reflect and heal from this contract that was false. It was a false contract. Okay. This person came in to teach this person value and worth. So Scorpio, I feel like on this side, this person has a lot of feelings for this false contract. This person isn't planning on coming back. They are moving forward. Their mind is definitely made up and you cannot change it. This person isn't wanting responsibility right now. This person wants to have fun. This person is moving very, very quickly into a new situation. Like I said, this person doesn't want responsibility at all. This person is egotistical. This person is controlling and likes to be the boss at all times and will not put up with anybody telling them what to do or they're not going to answer questions who they're with what they're doing it's my way or the highway this person isn't wanting a long-term commitment right now this person wants to play this person is running away from commitment does not want a commitment And they don't care that you're hurting. They have their own agenda. So Scorpio, I feel like you are wanting to give your heart away to somebody who doesn't want it. This person's like a narcissist. They are not awakened, and they're not going to be waking up in the near future. So I feel like over here we have somebody here that is trying to give their heart away to somebody that doesn't want, you know, it's my way or the highway. I'm going to talk to whoever I want. I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm not going to answer your questions. I don't care if you're hurting. This person is very selfish. Get out of my way. I'm not coming back. That's what I hear from this person. I've moved on. So this could be your side or that could be your side. There's an offer of love coming. There's an offer of love. Somebody is offering their heart to an individual who is dangerous. This person is dangerous. This person is a narcissist. This person is egotistical. This person is a loner. This person doesn't want a contract. They don't want a commitment. I think this person over here needs to take a time out. I mean, seriously needs to take a time out. It's time to realize your own identity. What are you worth? What is your value? Do you want somebody who doesn't want you? Or what? So I feel like in February, it's about realizing your value, seriously. Realizing your worth. And perhaps holding on to your heart and letting this person go.
It's a time of recuperation. It's a time of recovery. It's time to step back and work on you and work on your foundation. Work on your home. Get yourself together. Bring stability back to your life. Take care of you. So I think that February is a time of recuperation and isolation. I do. Because somebody has left. And their mind is made up. Good luck.